News anchor Ruben Rivers here, reporting on the second half of the interview with the Devil Puppet. This time we get more in-depth questions like, why is his horn always facing backwards while the other one is facing forward? Also, what are his future plans? What does he plan to do later in life? And also, who... Hey, Josh, is it, is it who or is it whom he hates the most? Who? It doesn't matter. Come on, man, this is like the 15th day. God. Whom he hates the most. Let's go to it now. Hello, Devil Puppet. It's good to see you again. I want to thank you for doing this second interview, taking time out of your busy schedule of hijinks and mischief uh, to come and sit with me and answer some questions. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, I'm the Devil Puppet. I'm sorry that my voice was so scratchy. I, I think I was allergic to this or something, but I like it. Look at it. It's foliage. Is that, is that how you say it? Foliage? I don't know. I heard your producer, Josh. He was in the back between taping that he said it was like, somebody move the foliage. And I was laughing about it because I was like, ha, 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 foliage. That's funny to say. How's it really said? Foliage? Oh, well, that's not as fun. I'm not gonna lie to you. Foliage. <laughs> that's fun. Shrubbery, yeah, the shrubbery. Uh, it brings liveliness to the room, I guess. Josh told me all this stuff. He was talking for like a half an hour, and I promise I, I just wasn't even looking at him. I was just looking away. I, I had no idea what was going on. I was thinking about how cool this mic is. All right, moving um, on. What's your question, sir? Hmm? Why is your horn always bent back? Well, well, my horn, my dear horn, it used to be like the other one, but now, now it always moves back when I talk. It's like, it's like it has a mind of its own. It's all because that stupid bat, that dumb bat, that big orange bat that everybody and their mother has hit me with. I hate it. Yeah? You get hit a lot? It always hits me. I think I have a fracture in my skull. On the top of my skull, I, I promise, it just hurts sometimes. It's like an internal scar. I may bleed. I don't know. It hurts me. What's your next question? Hmm? Hmm? Who is it that you hate the most? Let me think. Who do I hate the most? Hmm. I would have to say... Hands down, that Pastor Mark Hebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
because we don't have things like this. Look at, look at this foliage. It's so grand. It's so great. We don't have this where I'm from. But where am I from? I'm, I'm from Puppet Hades. Yeah, it's a, it's a real place. I, I'm, not, I'm not lying. Really. I'm not. I'm your friend. I am. I am. But no, I really, I really want to go on Broadway and, and dance. I think that'd be great. It's a good plan. I could do it. I'm a puppet. It's what puppets do. We sing and dance. I can't kick, but I can do this. And that's got to be worth something. I'm just saying. All right, next question. Well, I really like this whole set. It's not just the foliage. I like, I like the couch. It brings out my eyes. Don't you agree? Don't you agree? <laughs> you don't have to. If you don't, it's okay. But just look at the set, man. It's really good. Let's come with me. I have to take baby steps. I also have a bum leg. That's, that's why I keep, you know, limping. Look at this lamp. That is glorious. Look at, look at this. There was a dark night. <laughs> it's like a, it's like I'm in a camp meeting. Where do you get stuff like this? That's, we'd have nothing like this in Puppet Hades. Man, I just, can I, can I do the rest of the interview like this? That'd be great. That would be awesome. I look scarier, don't I? I look, oh, I am the devil puppet. I will punch you in the eye. <laughs> That's good stuff. I don't, I don't even write my own script. That's true. It's true. All right, well, I guess we can finish this here, but, you know, just know that I'm the devil puppet and... My final thought is, I hated Surrender. I did. I wish that nobody would have went I wish that, you know, nobody did whatever they talked about, and, well, I wish everybody would have got up and left and paid $25 for nothing. <laughs> what, if, what if they had no meals? What if it was, oh, the meals are included, and there was no meals? What if it was just, here, here's some pocket lint. Eat that. <laughs> oh, the things I could have done. Well, I guess that's about all I really had to, oh, no. No, oh, God! No, oh, God! In this second interview, we learned many new things about the devil puppet. We learned why his horn always goes back like that, if that was really the truth. Secondly, we learned that he really wants to fight Mark Hebebrand. We know that Pastor Mark is so tough, he doesn't churn his own butter. In fact, he just does a roundhouse kick to the side of a cow, and that's how he gets it. So this would be an interesting match to see the devil puppet versus Mark Hebebrand after the conference, I'm going to try to set up an arena and make it an event. We also learned that the devil puppet wants to be a Broadway star. I find this not a rather masculine attribute, but I look at him as being a pansy now, whereas before I didn't at all. Now we understand also that he doesn't have legs the way other people may think. Nobody's actually seen his legs, but backstage I did. And they're actually pencils with hair thrown on them. <laughs> it's funny because when I first saw them, I laughed for literally three weeks straight. I have rock hard abs because of it. Pansy? That's what you think of me now? What? You're not even professional. You're wearing shorts to a professional interview. You're not a I'm real I'm not wearing shorts to this interview. As we can all tell, I'm wearing a blazer with a professional red shirt. Josh, let's cut this. Now it's all or nothing Every time we take the truth to the straw All or nothing You never heard the true God will be all or nothing We bring it hard just to show where it's all or nothing